For decades, NASCAR, IndyCar, Formula One and all forms of motorsport have pushed the envelope in terms of vehicle development and performance management. As a result, road vehicles owe a huge debt to their track counterparts. High performance computing, machine learning and edge computing are helping teams gain an advantage on track, leveraging the real-time data from racing cars as they give automotive manufacturers an edge in the highly competitive vehicle market by aiding innovation and powering new products. At Wejo, we work with more automotive manufacturers than any other provider of data from autonomous, electric and connected vehicles. We turn the data from all these types of vehicles into intelligence, creating better driving experiences, just like what's been done for racing cars, where real-time decision-making and in-depth analysis of car data can be the difference between winning and losing a race. We know what issues automotive manufacturers face when it comes to handling and translating data from autonomous, electric and regular vehicles. As a result, we have developed software solutions that bring together the power of edge processing in vehicle and in the cloud, maintaining our position as a global leader. To talk more about this, I'm now going to hand you over to Wejo's Chief Technology Officer, Dave Burns, who's going to talk more about this exciting innovation. Thank you, Richard. In my role as Chief Technology Officer, I am passionate about unlocking the power of data from autonomous, electric and connected vehicles through Wejo's products and services. It's the one thing which drives me and my team. At Wejo, we recognise that as the ideas and principles talked about as part of Web3 take shape, the internet of value becomes a reality. Wejo Neural Edge offers amazing possibilities that will leverage the power of the metaverse and embrace the development of digital twins for vehicles around the world. Wejo's R&D teams aim to turn our accumulated knowledge of connected vehicle data in multiple environments into digital universes that enhance the development of vehicles, smart cities and safer roads. With so much rich data coming from autonomous, electric and connected vehicles, latency and data storage costs are huge obstacles that could prohibit the unlocking of incredible outcomes. How will all types of vehicles communicate with each other and with city infrastructure? How will real-time alerts from vehicle to vehicle truly work? What is needed is a solution that enables the effective handling of data from vehicles at scale, while providing incredible intelligence that protects privacy and empowers automotive innovation. A solution that will change society forever, for the better. Introducing Wejo Neural Edge. In collaboration with our strategic partners, Microsoft and Palantir, and powered by Wejo's ADEPT platform, Wejo Neural Edge is optimized to manage data within the vehicle and how data is communicated to the cloud as well as with other vehicles and mobility infrastructure. By leveraging embedded software technology and combining our intricate understanding of connected vehicle big data architecture, Wejo has developed algorithms that will benefit the automotive industry and the end consumer. The first component of Neural Edge is the reduction of network storage costs for the automotive manufacturers, OEMs by optimizing the data coming from the vehicle. Leveraging embedded software within the vehicle's chipset, Wejo Neural Edge is designed to intelligently choose and prioritize the data to be sent from the vehicle to the cloud. The second component is utilizing machine learning algorithms to reconstruct vehicle journey and event data. Using numerous algorithms, Wejo Neural Edge can take less than 30% of the data from autonomous, electric and other connected vehicles and reconstruct it to represent 100% of the data without any loss in data fidelity or integrity. This innovation aims to deliver the full power of the selected data from millions of vehicles 
but without the full data transmission and data storage costs. The positive environmental impact is significant as less data requires less storage, which in turn reduces power consumption. The third component is to enable vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure communication. Another unique aspect of Weijo Neural Edge is its ability to enable standardization and centralization of the data that comes from autonomous electric and connected vehicles. Not only does this provide a key building block for the communication in near real time, it also supports communication with infrastructure services such as road signs, traffic lights, parking lots, so vehicles can easily anticipate the road ahead and optimize the mobility experience. V2V and V2X communication will be important for autonomous vehicles. Autonomous or driverless cars are designed to make roads safer and must be able to interact seamlessly in real time with other autonomous cars, as well as driven vehicles and transportation infrastructure. The fourth component is to deliver a digital twin of the vehicle. The metaverse is changing how we see and interact with the world in all aspects of our life. Weijo is developing the ability to use digital twins of cities and vehicles to reshape how we view the entire product and service ecosystem related to mobility. At Weijo, we believe that digital twins will reshape everything from road safety to insurance, advertising, after sales and more. This could be the single biggest revolution in mobility since the invention of the car itself, giving cities, mobility operators and vehicle manufacturers the tools to create next generation shared and autonomous mobility experiences. Weijo is a leading proponent of autonomous electric and connected vehicle data and metaverse technology. Using our market leading knowledge and the insights that Weijo Neural Edge gives us, we are perfectly placed to be the partner of choice for automotive manufacturers, smart cities and mobility operators. I started Weijo nearly eight years ago now, and I started from a background of having a passion for motorsport, having passion for automotive vehicles. So eight years ago, I was at a point in time where I had a blank canvas. I had background of racing cars. I had background of data in my previous business. And I saw this going to be convergence between all these different technologies. And motorsport's fascinating to me. I am an avid fan of, of all varying forms of motorsport, whether it's Formula One, whether it's NASCAR, whether it's Indy. And the thing you see about all motorsport, it's all about data. You know, you'll see shots of data engineers on track looking at the telemetry of a vehicle. And I thought, well, so how do you take the learnings of the high resolution of data from 20 vehicles on track, but then extrapolate out to the 12 million vehicles that Weijo has on the road? So at the very start, when I started working with motor manufacturers, and I started talking to them about how we wanted to help them get data from the vehicle, how do we take all the data from the car, but not all the time, because you know, if you've already got 10 vehicles on the road, on that road out there right now telling you the same thing. You don't need another 10 vehicles. You don't need another 90 vehicles telling you the same thing. You need some data some of the time, but some of the other data you need it all the time. So I started Weijo on this idea of us becoming the global leader for all vehicle data, and we are now the global leader. But this thought back at the back of our minds of actually one day, as AVs take off, as EVs become more mass market, there's going to need to be more access to data at all times, but not just restricted to the 150 sensors, which tends to be the maximum right now. So over the last two years, we've managed to get great momentum with automotive manufacturers, and we work with some incredible brands globally. But we've also been working behind the scenes on what's become known as Weijo Neural Edge which is this idea of saying, well, we've now learned enough about 
you know, with the 12 trillion data points we've already collected, we've learned enough about the US, so we don't need to keep adding the same type of data. So how do we work with the motor manufacturers to focus on the data that's got value? How do we help the automotive manufacturers take that data to improve the experiences for driver, to reduce the cost of manufacturing the vehicle? We've developed Weijo Neural Edge to get to this point where we can machine learn sending data from the vehicle. We can have edge-based processing to optimise the data coming into the cloud to ultimately reduce the costs for the automotive manufacturer, but ultimately, or, or beyond that, improve the manufacturing of the vehicle to provide a better experience to the driver. And the better experience can be finding an EV charging point, can be having AVs be more mass market than they are now. And that's where Weijo Neural Edge has, has come from, is this idea of us is that there's this explosion of data there's, there's an explosion or there's a tipping point of, of these new types of vehicles, whether it's AVs, whether it's EVs, whether it's CVs. And there needing to be a solution to this explosion of data. And we just fixed that problem with Weijo Neural Edge. So Dave, I've sort of touched on the periphery of what we're doing, but now do you want to go into a bit more detail? Yeah, thank you, Richard. Um, and it's interesting what you say about those trillions of data points coming off vehicles these days and what we're accumulating as Weijo, because that underlies the, the actual problem that Neural Edge is trying to seek to address. So we're looking at how that data actually comes onto the chipset in the vehicle and trying to work out how we can actually reduce that. And we've had already, with the work that we've done over the last two years, some tremendous success. And we've managed to reduce the volume of data coming off the vehicle by up to 70, 80% without any loss in fidelity or integrity of the data. And we've done that by introducing machine learning algorithms that we've put behind the end-to-end -end solution. So we can now take 20% of the data from the vehicle, a much reduced data set. That reduces costs for the OEMs in terms of storage and transmission. Once we get that 20%, we can actually then reconstruct that into 100% of the picture. So it's a full data set. And this approach is, 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 all, is all unique to Weijo, isn't it? This idea of having this approach to connected vehicle data, AV data and EV data. And it's, it's, it's addressing a real problem that, that all the C-suite, the EVPs of OEMs are recognising is that, is that this data has value. This data has value in multiple outputs, but there's too much of it. Exactly. How, how are you going to deal with this? If you're an automotive manufacturer, you're already seeing constraints on the volumes of data that you can push through the chipset and also out from the vehicle. Plus you've got LiDAR data, you've got high resolution imagery data coming down the track more and more, and more sensors going onto the vehicles. OEMs are working with first tier auto manufacturers now who are always talking about more sensors, more capability going into the vehicles. How, how as an OEM do you manage that? It's not possible unless you actually find a way to optimise the data which is coming off the vehicle in the first instance. Now, Weijo recently has announced a significant multi-million dollar uh, contract with an OEM around privacy and consent management. Do you want to talk to a bit more detail about how that applies to Weijo Neural Edge? Well, again, with Neural Edge, there is options and possibilities to actually take that privacy capability, that consent capability, and start to move it towards that embedded capability which sits within the vehicle. So the vehicle itself becomes privacy aware based on the driver's privacy settings. You've got to address privacy consent. You've also got to address, and it's not just a, because a lot of the, the work that you see around AV and also around level four vehicles are about the vehicle being aware of what's in a 10 meter radius. So the, the, the trucks and other vehicles and how to navigate around them. Weijo actually is focused is around what's the vehicle which is a kilometre away doing and how does that then alter and change the experience, the driver experience, because there is information that can come from that vehicle a kilometre down the road which can actually tell you that there's a harsh braking event going on or there's something else going on, there's some major event going on that you need to be informed of. Now, if you're informed of that and you're a, a kilometre back, then you can take the necessary actions to slow down or potentially, if it's a kind of traffic jam, you can actually take the, the option to navigate around that. that that's, a great, that's a great segue to, you know, we've collected over 477 billion miles of data. We see vehicles on 95% of roads every day in the US. We've collected over 12 trillion data points. We can now reconstruct 
pretty much any city. And what that is, in a simulated environment, is a digital twin, which Neural Edge, Weijo Neural Edge will now power. Do you want to talk a bit more about Weijo's approach to digital twins? Well, we already, firstly, we already have that ability to simulate it in near real time exactly what's going on in the city. So we have real-time traffic capabilities up and running and operational now where you can see what is actually happening on the ground with that traffic today. Now, taking that and actually combining that rich data source, you can then start to build that full digital twin, not just of the vehicle, but the environment as well. You can look at the vehicle and in terms of the sensors and the information which is coming off it, is there anything which is needed in terms of any service event or anything else which might be needed because that digital twin represents a full picture of what is actually happening in the real vehicle today. So you can imagine, you don't need to actually go and physically inspect the vehicle anymore. Various different industries will be able to change because of this. So to recap, we do Neural Edge we can reduce data leaving the vehicle, AV, EV, and connected vehicle by up to 80%, yeah. while still maintaining 100% integrity of the data. Yeah. We run real-time consent, privacy, and compliance on all data points, however many times the driver's changing in vehicle, and we're already licensing that software to motor manufacturers. After data has left the vehicle, we've now built an, a, a decentralized approach, but still within the cloud, which again is still Weijo Neural Edge, where we are optimizing a sub-latent way of, of taking real-time data from vehicle and presenting data back to other vehicles potentially or, or other similar environments that, that require V2X or V2V data. Yeah, absolutely. We're reconstructing that data set and then we can use that data set to actually start to drive V2V, V2X communication. And then in a simulation environment, we've now built a digital twin of the US. So now EV providers, AV providers can simulate their vehicles in differing cities without having to outlay the massive infrastructure costs of physical hardware or physical cars, vehicles, to be able to relearn how the vehicles should, should now behave in, in this new world. That's it. You can actually see the vehicle, you can see its behaviour, you can see all the interactions that, that, that it's had in terms of the sensors which are coming off it, and you can really get a sense of the challenges and the, the various different activities that that vehicle has been through. Well, thank you all today for this uh, impromptu digital launch. I hope you've enjoyed what you've learnt. Weijo Neural Edge has been developed and is the IP of Weijo, and I hope you want to learn more about what we've launched. The connected vehicle data explosion is happening. Every day, more and more vehicles come online, feeding huge volumes of valuable data insights into the cloud every few seconds. The value of this data is essential in achieving a better world. A world where the metaverse and digital twins power products and services that 10 years ago were just the stuff of science fiction. Now, they are science fact, handling data volume data latency, data prioritization. These are real world problems that need to be overcome. Enabling vehicles to communicate with each other and infrastructure has been near impossible. Change needs to happen. And without this change, automotive manufacturer innovation and powering new products and services in the world of mobility won't be possible. The solution, Weijo Neural Edge. Weijo Neural Edge will give birth to a new world a metaverse of possibilities. It will help the realization of great ideas that will change our world for the better. Removing congestion, reducing crashes, preventing breakdowns, realizing the autonomous dream, powering electric vehicle adoption by enabling vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, data prioritization, twin city and twin vehicle creation. These twin cities and vehicles will facilitate better insights for cities, insurers, automotive after-sales, and more in real time. The Neural Edge dream is a reality, a reality that will revolutionize how we perceive what a vehicle is capable of. Discover more about how it will change the world at weijo.com slash neural edge.